Hi guys, I'm Chris with Chris Tech Tips. Thanks for tuning in. Here it is, this is the latest build. I found this YZ125, it's 2001. Of course, I do have the motor, now all the other parts, they're in a box, and of course, they're all blowed up. But uh, this is the next project. We're gonna go ahead and tear this thing down to every single nut, bolt, bearing, and just make this thing brand new. Of course, we're gonna do some mods to it, you know, some port polish work, definitely do some suspension work, and we're gonna make this thing rip. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start stripping this thing down. We're gonna get the frame all stripped down so we can get it over the powder coaters. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video please hit that subscribe button uh, give me a thumbs up if you do let's get into it all right you can see I've already got the motor removed now we're just gonna go ahead and remove the rear tire and I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the rear swing arm get all the linkage and the rear shock out Now that I've got most of the swing arm linkage loose, I'm going to go ahead and get this subframe out of the way. This makes a little bit more easier access to get to that shock. Alright, now that I've got the subframe removed, I'm going to go ahead and remove the air box from the subframe. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the chain rollers from the subframe. Visually inspect the subframe, make sure there's no cracks or bends or anything like that. I go ahead and bag up my nuts and bolts, make sure everything's marked. Physically inspect the rear shock. Then I like to zip tie the ends of the shock so I don't lose those shock collars. Next up, I'm going to remove all the collars and bushings out of the rear swing arm. Now I'm going to grab my magnet to grab these washers out of the swing arm. Next up, I'm going to remove the chain guide. And I like to bag all these nuts and bolts up because I will be reusing them. Now right here, I'm removing the front chain guard off the swing arm. You want to make sure you save all these nuts and bolts and washers and spacers. Go ahead and replace all that stuff. Right here I'm removing the chain adjustment bolts. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the inner swing arm bushings. And they're held in by two flat countersunk Phillips screws. Now I like to remove these because you can actually powder coat these a different color than the swing arm. Kind of makes a nice accent along with some new hubs, maybe some new wheels. Of course we're going to really deck this thing out. I'm going to go ahead and remove the rear brake line holders. Now these are all also kind of a bugger to get out because they've been Loctited in and they've probably never been out since the bike was made. And right here I'm just fishing out all my washers and collars on the rear swing arm. I'm gonna keep those in order, keep them in place, get those bagged up, but definitely reuse them. There's some inner seals that I'm digging out here. And I will, of course, replace all the bearings, the brand new linkage and swing arm bearing kit. And you can see some of these inner collars and washers are kind of a bugger to get out. Just gotta take your time, have a little bit of patience. Now I'll go ahead and put the swing arm out on the driveway, start a little stockpile. Right here I'm bagging everything up, marking everything. It just makes things so much easier when you go back together. 
Now let's go ahead and tackle this lower linkage. Go ahead and put all that stuff back together and we'll tackle this when we get a new bearing kit. All right, I'm removing the rear brake caliper and master cylinder assembly. Now let's go ahead and remove those foot pegs. Go ahead and remove that cotter pin. Pop that pin out. Off to the next side and repeat. Now you can see with the rear swing arm and tire and subframe all removed, the frame gets a little wobbly. So I'm gonna go ahead and strap that down a little better. Now let's go ahead and tackle the cooling system. Get that front radiator louver off. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the radiators off. These radiators are really clean for an 01. Super straight. I don't think I'll have to replace them. Now you can see I'm removing the radiators kind of all in one piece. Right here I'm gonna remove the upper coolant hose, split those apart and leave most of the hoses together. That way, less to take apart and less to put back together. Next, I'm gonna tackle the electrical system. Go ahead and pull that coil out. I'm gonna go ahead and bag everything up. I'm starting to fill my table up with a lot of nuts and bolts and I wanna keep everything together. Let's go ahead and remove the CDI, all the electrical wiring. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and unravel the throttle cable. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the front tire. Get that front brake caliper out of the way. Go ahead and loosen those pinch bolts. And I usually grab a brass punch and I hit that axle out with the brass punch. And it's softer than the aluminum, so it doesn't do any damage to your axle. Now I'm going to go ahead and loosen the upper and lower trip clamps and remove the forks. All right, let's go ahead and lower this down and let's remove the front brake, master cylinder and caliper assembly. tackle this throttle cable. Go ahead and undo it from the throttle tube. And we'll get that throttle cable disconnected and remove it from the frame. Tidy up in a bag and get all the throttle housing pieces in there. Remove the throttle housing. Now we got it all marked, sealed in the bag. Next up, remove the handlebars. Go ahead and put the handlebar mounts back on. Now I'm gonna remove the top triple clamp. Go ahead and take my spanner wrench and remove the whole triple clamp assembly from the frame. I like to throw it back together, that way it keeps things together in one piece. Easier for reinstallation. Okay, next up I'm gonna move the inner races from the headset. I'm gonna take my map gas and warm those up. Now I've got a sharp punch with a flat edge on it and I can stick from the top side. Right here you can see the frame's just not stable enough so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Just set that down right on my bench, or my lift. Now you can see I'm just working my way around the inner race. And of course I've got to sharpen up my punch, make sure it's got a sharp edge on it.
Got it. Now, visually inspect the frame, make sure the frame's okay. Now I'm gonna go work on the top inner race. And if you guys are restoring a bike like this and have any questions, feel free to email me. I would be glad to help. I'm going to go ahead and take my map gas and reheat that a little bit. Let that metal expand, which will help me get that inner race out. All right, thanks for watching this first episode of the YZ Project YZ125. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that subscribe button on the link below. And again, like I said, thanks for watching. All right, we'll catch you in the next episode. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you know the minute it comes up. Here's a quick look at my yard sale I've got going here. Thanks again for watching, guys. And make sure you stay tuned for the next episode of this build.